Gamers, the nether is, um, it's a toll. But it is teeming with a rare and precious resource we need to upgrade our gear, ancient debris. So it's time to make it a little less of a hole by starting a nether mining operation complete with a giant warehouse, railway system and more. Let's get started. All rig diddly right. First off of course, let's get ourselves over to the nether because uh, the first thing I want to build is actually a little safe house around the portal so we aren't getting destroyed by ghasts and bloody pig blokes, you know? So it's time to enter the hole. <laughs> off we go mate. Okay, so for this little safe house that I want to build around this. I want to use uh, pretty much just, uh, you know, resources from the nether here, with the first being some nether wood, which I know is over in this direction. And of course, we got some bloody pig blokes here that I'm going to have to deal with. Come on, mate. God, these things, I don't know why, they just freak me out. I don't... Dude, they just... God, man. There's so many of them. Okay, yep. So we're here for this stuff. Let's grab a bunch of it because, um, yeah, we're going to be uh, using it. All right. There's a good bit of, uh, you know, crimson stem stuff. The next block we need is some basalt. And there's actually just a single little pillar of it right here, which we can harvest. Um, Honestly, I don't know what it's doing here, but um, we're going to get over there and grab a bunch of it. All right. We're back at the portal with our blocks. It is now time to start designing our safe house for the portal. So firstly, let's mark out our little pillars here. And I want our entrance to be kind of, uh, you know, maybe here. Okay, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the general shape right there. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is raise our little pillars up of basalt here. All right, and so there's our framework all laid out. I just went back and quickly grabbed some stone stuff as well for just the uh, the trim of the roofs because, uh, you know, I needed a block for it, I guess. So let's start with our trims here. We're going to uh, make these uh, pretty much just out of stone, uh, you know, like I just said. I don't know what I'm saying right now, dude. And yeah, so for this front one, because we have an even shape, I'm just going to use stairs here. I feel like that's just going to give us the nicest look. And then as for this main part of the roof, I think just my signature, you know, stairs to slabs kind of design is going to look good. Actually, what am I doing? I did it the wrong way. I started with stairs instead of slabs. What the hell? Okay, there we go. That's looking pretty good now. I'm going to repeat this trim on this other side, and then I'm going to fill the whole roof out with these crimson blocks here, which is going to look pretty nice. So yeah, let me get that done real quick, and I'll meet you guys down here for the walls. Okay, many revisions later. Here is our final roof. I ended up changing this front roof a little bit so instead of just mainly stairs it is uh, you know slabs and then stairs at the top I think that is uh, you know the best look it's gonna have I guess also there's a freaking gap there man I didn't even see that ah well, that sucks we're gonna have to fill that in with stone because it's freaking you know stone up here god's sake man ah uh, that's fine you, you, no one's gonna see it just shut up you're not gonna notice okay <laughs> all right so yeah there's our framework there's our roofs added in it is now time to work on our wall designs and I have a couple of neat little ideas in mind with that yeah you know, the first one here being, of course, just, you know, we're going to have our doors here. I'm going to have to replace all of this ground actually first. I reckon probably just stone is going to be the nicest. And because I don't really have a lot, I'm going to make it into slabs for the floor. Don't judge me. Okay, there's all of our floor added in. Now let's actually, um, you know, maybe actually extend a little pathway that goes over this way through the soul sand crap. Okay, and now, yeah, now we can actually get started on the walls and stuff. So let's firstly add in our doors right here. Or what we could actually do is just raise these pillar blocks blocks up a little bit so they're actually in line with the back ones here something like that that's actually pretty nice i like i do like that actually now as for these little side parts here i think something like this could definitely look nice and we can just put these trap doors here i really like these trap doors because it's like it, it looks like a window like a barred kind of window like an actual safe house or something and i think that look is going to work really nicely here for you know our safe house and so for these big walls here i think what i'm gonna do is probably just maybe uh let's try some stripped crimson stems let's see how that's gonna look oh yeah and already i'm loving the look of that and yeah dude that is looking cool i really like that palette there that looks nice as all right i'm, I'm just gonna continue these uh you know the same wall design around all right and there it is there's the completed exterior for our little safe house build i'm actually really loving the way this turned out it's super nice dude actually i just got an idea for another little nice touch give me a second bang there it is hell yeah i love that that is such a cute little garden now it's time to head on inside and decorate uh you know what little space we have in here. So maybe on this side over here, we could make this our like storage section. Let's go maybe a double chest there. We'll chuck a barrel there. Maybe along the top, a couple more barrels. Okay. And on this side, we can make this maybe crafting and just, uh, you know, other various stuff. And then I think for lighting in here, what we could do is maybe just like some various shroom lightages, you know? And yeah, dude, there we go. We just got a nice little interior in here for our little safe house. Just like a nice little spot to come out and, uh, you know, uh, do stuff before we head 
out into uh, the hellhole. Speaking of, let's, um, you know, head out into the hellhole and find a spot to start our actual freaking build of this episode, the mining operation. And I did find a nice little spot over here that I just kind of want to have a, uh, you know, a bit of a closer look at. Yeah, so this area, oh my gee, that scared the absolute hell out of me. Please, just die. Yes. Yeah, so this area right here is nice and flat. The only annoying thing is that it is just pretty much entirely freaking soul sand, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But I am really liking this area. It is pretty close to our safe house as well, which will make travel to and fro nice and simple. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is just flatten all of this off so it is just that, uh, you know, nice and flat. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, gamers, so there is our area, you know, pretty much completed, just like the baseline, I guess, completed. And so you may have noticed at the back here, I left a pretty big area of, uh, you know, just flat land. And this is where I plan on adding our big old warehouse at the back. And so I've just had to think about a block palette that I want to use, and I think I have, uh, you know, I've solidified my decision. And that decision is going to be, uh, you know, mostly quartz, I think, is going to contrast nicely with the stone. So now what it is time to do is, uh, you know, go around and... And just mine a bunch of this quartz everywhere. I'm going to need an absolute shitload of it because this warehouse I'm, uh, you know, I'm planning is uh, gonna be pretty big. So I'm gonna start mining. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of other blocks from the overworld and I'll meet you guys back here and uh, yeah, we'll start building the warehouse. Okay, gamers, I am back and I've got a bunch of various different blocks here that I want to use for our warehouse build. So let's bloody get started, mate. So the idea is uh, basically I want to have tracks that'll run through this way and then lead into one warehouse here. And then I was just going to have one massive long warehouse, but I think it's going to look very weird. So I might actually split it into two separate ones just so it, uh, you know, doesn't look, uh, I don't know, just weird. I guess. So I'm thinking the uh, the pillar blocks made out of, uh, you know, this polished deep slate here is going to look the nicest. And I feel like I might actually want to leave a little bit more of a gap between the warehouse and our little pits here. So we might as well just start at the back actually and figure out how wide we want these to be. So along this area here, I want it to line up, you know, I want to have like a big kind of garage warehouse style door, I guess. So let's leave that to be completely open like that. And then for our second one, we'll start it maybe right here here, and then we'll just have it go over to this side like so. I think that is going to be a, uh, you know, the best kind of layout there. So this warehouse here is actually going to be square, which might be, uh, you know, kind of cool. Actually, no, never mind. What the fuck? I'm brain dead. All right, so yeah, that's warehouse number two right there, and then warehouse number one over yonder. And uh, yeah, now it's time to figure out the heights and everything and lay out all of the... Oh my god. And lay out all of the pillars and get all that figured out. So I'm just going to get that done right now, and I'll meet you guys back uh, probably, I don't know, somewhere over there. Okay, there's our framework all laid out, looking nice. I really like the shape of these. I just have no idea what I'm going to do for the walls and stuff and get it nice and like, you know, warehouse looking. But I do actually have an idea for the roofs of this. So let's head right on up. And basically, my idea for the roofs is going to be something like this. Yeah, that's going to be the shape of the roof there. I think that's going to look really nice. And uh, yeah, we'll connect this up to the other side, add in our same trim. And I'll do the same for the other warehouse over there. And then I think for the actual main roof part... Oh, what block am I going to use, eh? I think I'll probably just use our quartz blocks for the roof. I think that's going to look pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to get all this stuff done and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's bloody get started. Okay, there's our roofs added on. I know you can't really see them here, but you probably did in the time lapse, so that's all good. Now it's time to get started on the actual walls, and I have no idea how I'm going to do this. So obviously we're going to be using our block of quartz, uh, you know, blocks here. And uh, the main thing I know is that this area here, I'm going to be having a track on, like I discussed previously, and uh, it's going to lead into a bit of like a big garage door kind of style thing, like that. And now I need to figure out how to actually make like a, you know, garage door style 
thing. Because <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. But I know they have like these little like roller door things above them. I just don't know if that looks good or if we should have that like on this layer here. Honestly, I think that looks a little better. So yeah, honestly, I'm not wanting too many like details on the outside of this. It's just gonna be, you know, a warehouse. I don't really know how to like explain it basically. But maybe for like our entrance, like for people, we could have them on these like little small parts here. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and place in some blocks here and then we'll place our crimson door on. And yeah, dude, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. I think something that would also go really nicely with that is... Oh God, that's not going to work, is it? Dickhead. Uh, give me a second again. <laughs> okay, and we're back with the item, which is, uh, you know, a stone brick wall, and we're gonna place a lantern on there, and yeah, dude, that looks, that looks really cool. I love that, dude. We'll just go ahead and quickly add the same thing over on this little section as well. So, wall and lantern, bang. Now, we have two little entrances and our main, like, kind of, uh, you know, garage door entrance. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, and then I don't really know what I'm gonna do for these walls here. I don't really wanna just do full freaking quartz, because it's just gonna be very plain. I I need to figure out some kind of design for it. Gamers, you have got to see my new keyboard. So here it is right under here. If you want to check out the old one, it's just down here. Um, yeah, it broke on me. I don't exactly know why. Literally like $300. It's lasted me a good while though. Like probably like three or four years or something, but yeah. So here's the new one. Let's unravel this bad boy. Oh, mate, that. I love the look of that. It's like a nice retro Keychron C2, mate. Look at this freaking beautiful shot, mate. That thing is hectic. Let's see what it sounds like. Brother, that is perfect. All right. Back to the bloody game, mate. Okay, after a lot of deliberation, I've finally settled on actually just removing this pillar entirely. That way we can just fill this whole bad boy up with a bunch of quartz. And I can show you guys the design that I actually want to go with here. So yeah, we're going to leave these blank. I'm actually going to fill the tops in with quartz stairs. And then we're going to have some glass panes on these blocks here. And yeah, that just gives, I don't know, just such like a nice like factory warehouse building kind of vibe. Because they always have the windows like really high up for some reason. So I reckon that is going to look pretty nice. And so as for this area, over here where we actually only have three wide we're just going to employ the same uh you know design here except obviously it's just going to be one window there like that and yeah i'm pretty happy with that so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is just fill in the rest of the walls for this warehouse along with all of the walls for this one as well so uh, yeah let's get bloody to it mate Okay, and there we go. There's the exterior done for all of our little factory. Well, not all of them, you know, it's just two. Uh, so yeah, for our two factory buildings here, we've got a nice big spacious area on the inside here to add a bunch of details. But before we do, I actually want to go ahead and add in our tracks here. We're going to be having a, uh, you know, just uh, a couple of tracks running through here. And I just want to add those in so that we can kind of judge like, you know, where we can put stuff. So I've got those in the chest over at the little safe house bunker. Let me go grab them real quick and we'll get started laying those out. Okay, so I've got all our tracks in stuff and now it's time to figure out where I want to start it and I think honestly probably just somewhere in front of our little uh, you know safe house here is going to be good. I don't really think it's going to make that much of a difference so we're probably just wasting time doing this but uh, yeah let's get started with our track. I'm simply just going to snake this all the way down to our little area so just give me a second I'll meet you guys you know uh, somewhere over there. Alright now that we're at this point here I think what I want to actually do is split it off into two separate tracks side by side like this. I don't know why I just really like the look of that. So am I going to be able to get this to join up here? Oh, you absolute pain in my ass, mate. Oh, no. No! You pain in my ass. Piss off. Take that. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to make this work, eh? I think what I'll just do is, like... Wow, that looks hideous, man. Uh, I'll figure this out later. I probably won't, actually. But yeah, let's just continue our little rails off here. Actually, we need to add some powered ones on. But basically, yeah, what I was going to say is I want to just continue these up into our little, uh, you know, thing here. And uh, yeah, just let me fill this out. I'll meet you guys in there. Okay, and now that we're in our factory here, what I think I want to do is actually snake this one around to this way. And then for our second one here, we're going to go, uh, you know, down this way and then through this little track here. We're going to continue on through. I'll make this one 
one come out, uh, you know, maybe here, and then this second one will come up and around this way. We'll extend this same, like, thing on this side here all the way back down, and we'll connect up to our original little path. And yeah, that's gonna be like a little minecart loop thing. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's mainly just for aesthetics, you know, it's not really a long walk to and fro of here, but we'll use it regardless. So yeah, I'm gonna get all of that stuff built, uh, right now. Okay, there is our completed tracks all hooked up back to the safe house over there and running through our factory nicely. I just realized I forgot to power this one. Oh my god. Um, I'll get that sorted later. But for now, it is time to actually move on to the interior of our warehouse here. And so I'm just gonna be filling this up entirely with a bunch of just random little details. So right at the back here, let's start off with a bit of a storage shelf. So just something like this on both sides here. We'll just uh, extend some trapdoors up. And then in between those, let's have some slabs like that as our little shelves. Um, obviously, we can't really, uh, you know, go on the actual windows there. So we might actually have to figure something else out. What if we actually could raise this one up here? Maybe, uh, you know, go in between the windows and then down below here, we'll put stuff on the ground. Yeah, dude, that looks awesome. And then all the way up the top, we can add some more little just random scattered stuff as well. All right, and then maybe in this area in front of it, we can add some like just random kind of piles of blocks. Like, you know, blocks that have been, uh, you know, d just freaking excavated from this place, literally. Um, that's where I got them from. But, you know, theoretically, they're, you know, mining it, using this uh, track to bring it up into the warehouse and then, then just storing it in big piles of blocks like this. I don't know, that's just my reasoning behind it. But yeah, just little piles of blocks like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Another little detail we have is, uh, you know, some campfires here. And we can place these to look like, uh, you know, an empty pallet or something like that. So they'd be putting the blocks on top of those to move them around easily. Then I reckon just kind of scattered around these, we could definitely add some barrels and some chests. It's just, uh, you know, just extra little random storage stuff around the place. And yeah, that's a cute little warehouse interior. Nothing too crazy. I actually really like the way this looks. It's nice and simple. Maybe in between the tracks here, we could add some more just random blocks that have been like harvested just in piles like this. And then maybe over in our secondary warehouse here, we could add some more storage shelves, maybe a bit differently this time. Maybe we could just have two kind of rows facing this way instead. I think that could look cool. And then of course we can just scatter more random stuff on these. If I can place them in, God damn it. And maybe on this one, we could add some more of just those random blocks too. I think that could definitely look cool for like little storage stuff. We can add some lanterns on there too. And then on this back one, we've just set it up differently, kind of similar to over there because we have the window in the way, of course. And I reckon in this one, let's just add a bunch of different blocks in here. Maybe in the corner, let's just add another pile of just random stuff like that. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. That's looking awesome. Let's chuck another pallet right here, just in between the tracks there. That's pretty cool. And yeah, there we go. There's our two little like warehouses all pretty much done. I didn't want to go anything too crazy on them because we're going to be adding a lot of details on the outside here. And starting off, I want to add like a bit of a crane design. And I don't know if I want to start it here or there. I reckon over here. Let's just go with here, yeah. And so for this crane, I'm going to be using our crimson wood here just because I, uh, you know, it fits the biome that we're in kind of well or the dimension, I should say, the nether. So that's going to be our like main kind of stalk, I guess. On the sides here, let's maybe add some little supports like that. And then up towards the top, we'll add some more. Oh, dude, you can. I literally didn't expect to be able to actually make those, but you can. Let's add those on. That might look cool. I reckon we definitely need something at the front and back there. I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. Now let's crack out the scaffolding and head up here. And so for our main little like holding thing, I think I want polished andesite. I reckon that's going to look the nicest, kind of contrast nicely to all the other blocks there. And so all the way out here, we'll have some chains that I need to go craft. And then at the back here, we'll have like our counterweight. And for that, I reckon we'll just add one of those and then maybe a couple of polished deep slate blocks, actually maybe one in a slab like that. Yeah, that looks awesome, dude. All right. And then up here, let's maybe add some of these walls like this, and then we could finish it off with a couple of stairs on the tops of those and then maybe just a full block like that and I reckon we would actually need to make maybe a couple of these into full blocks like that. Yeah, dude that is looking pretty nice. That is a nice like a nether themed crane. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go grab a little bit of iron to make some chains so we can actually hang something off that. So give me a second. Oh, and just coming back to this, I feel like it's a little bit bulky. I think we might need to remove these walls here just because it is a little bit chunky and it's not exactly actually, you know how I want it. You know, sometimes if you have a build that you like, sometimes you need to like take a little step back from it and come back to it and you realize it actually looks like shit.
So definitely do that before you, uh, you know, commit to a build. But yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, continue some chains down this way. I reckon we'll stop them right there. Because on the bottom of that, I want to add a little bit of a platform thing. Using our crimson wood here, we're going to make a little bit of a, uh, you know, thing. And as for some details on this, I think what's going to look cool is having maybe a shroom light. And then just some various other blocks like this. Just like heaps of random little blocks. And then we can definitely just fill up the rest of these spaces. Maybe with some chests or some barrels and yeah, that's cool, dude It looks like a bunch of little like trinkets and stuff that we've pulled up from the mines down here. That is super cool I love that. So yeah, there we go. There's our cute little crane design I'm probably going to add another one over on this side somewhere and actually I just thought of another little detail that we could add to this a little lantern right on top of there I reckon that's gonna look pretty good. Hell yeah, dude. All right now for some more details Let's grab out our campfires and some crimson slabs and I reckon just adding like a couple of these little like pallets around the place is going to look pretty cool. So maybe just one like that and then maybe over here somewhere we could add a crimson wood one. Let's just maybe make it two by two. Oh, that is not two by two. What the hell? And then around this let's add some signs just as uh, you know, like little holders or something that hold the blocks in. You know, I just had to do it to you. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> Called him a dickhead, what the hell? And then beside these, I reckon a nice detail is just gonna be some block piles like this. As if these items have been like, you know, unloaded because unfortunately if we put blocks on that, obviously they're just gonna be like floating, which kind of stinks. So the next best thing is, you know, just adding blocks kind of around it, which I think kind of sells the effect nicely. Another little detail before I forget is going to be actually, ooh, I don't know if I wanna do it with stone brick walls. Yeah, I think stone brick walls. Is yeah, just gonna be adding these around each one of our holes with a bunch of lanterns on top of those because right now the area is just very dark and dim so this is definitely going to help uh you know make it a bit brighter obviously and i am steadily running out of walls and lanterns so i'm gonna have to go craft a bunch more of those up uh and then uh, i will continue placing these in and i'll meet you guys back here for uh, you know more details okay there's all of our lights added in the area is looking so much brighter now and oh dude i love that that looks so good the next detail you know we got to add in is going to be a couple of big barrels i've started to really like this detail for just like these kind of factory style builds that I've been doing. And yeah, so essentially we're just making these giant, uh, you know, things just made of barrels. So let's add one there, maybe another one on this side too. And I've basically already run out. So I'm gonna have to go make a bunch more of those. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back and I actually ended up changing a bunch of stuff around. So these barrels, I shrunk down to a very, uh, you know, much smaller size because the ones before were way too big. I also went ahead and moved our entire crane over here just because I feel like I want this space to be a little bit, uh, you know more empty. It looked kind of weird having the crane there. And then I also added in a second crane over here. This time instead of hanging over the hole, it's actually, you know, kind of, uh, you know, touching the land or whatever. And now for some of the next details, I want to add some actual ore piles of stuff that you mine from the nether, which I kind of almost completely forgot about. So I went and mined a bunch of nether gold and nether quartz using my silk touch pick. And I also went and grabbed some blocks of gold and blocks of quartz as well to add into those. So for our first little pile here, let's go with our nether gold ore. And then I just want to replace some of these blocks here with actual gold blocks. And then over on this side, let's go with our quartz. And because quartz actually has stairs and, uh, you know, slab blocks, we can add some of those in to make it look even nicer. Hell yeah, dude. That is looking awesome. That looks so good. I think I definitely want to add more of those around the whole area. Like definitely over here. Maybe like that. And maybe let's actually grab another gold one. Where could we add that? I reckon back over on this side over here would be the nicest spot to add add our last one. Yeah, that's looking good. And then as for our cranes, we could actually maybe replace some of the blocks with some of these as well, just because uh, this right now is looking a little bit bland. So let's maybe replace all of those and let's do something like that. Actually, not that. Uh, that. Yeah, dude, there we go. That is looking so good. Just that extra little pop of all of those blocks, it makes it look so good, dude. I love that. For the next little detail, I want to add like a little wagon or something like that. I don't really know how to describe it, but um, yeah, just something like that and then we could use some spruce trap doors here to look like the actual wheels and maybe have something like that sticking out the part that would attach onto something I don't really know what and then on top of this we could maybe just add a bunch of our quartz blocks like this hell yeah dude that is awesome actually that does look weird it looks like it's kind of just balancing on these little wheels here so we should probably add 
Maybe wheels at the back and at the front like that, so it looks a little bit more stable. Yeah, that's better. That's looking better now. And yeah, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just pepper in a bunch more random little details throughout this. We definitely need more chests and barrels, so I'll add heaps of those in. Uh, so just give me a second. Okay, and there is all of our details all added in. This area is looking so nice and lively now, and it just looks like a place that is constantly being used and like worked at, I guess. Just like all of these piles of stuff everywhere. It looks awesome, dude. And so now what it is time to do do is to start digging out each one of our massive holes here. I don't know how far I'm going to go with them. I might alternate each one in different depths to make them look like they've been like worked at, you know, maybe leave some at this height, but I will actually like, you know, kind of take away some chunks like this to make it look like it's currently being like digged in and stuff like that. That looks pretty cool. And then for our central one here, as you can see, I've already um, kind of worked on it a little bit. I'm going to dig this one down quite a bit. And from this one, we'll start strip mining for ancient debris. I'm going to need an absolute crap load of it. I'm going to try and get as much of it as I can. And so, yeah, I'm going to start digging all of these out. I'll also add ladders into each one as well. So, yeah, let's get started with the time lapse right now. All right, so I've actually just taken a quick little break from netherite mining because I remember... Oh, my Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, I remembered we had this bastion here that I felt I should probably explore in hopes of finding, you know, the upgrading template and also some more ancient debris, hopefully. And so I was just doing some exploring around this thing and I found this chest here. And in here we have our netherite upgrading template. Thank God. Jesus, man, these guys need to settle the hell down. Oh! Fuck. Holy sh... Dude, they are everywhere. Oh my god, get away from me. Yeah, so thankfully we have our little upgrading template. We also found another piece of netherite scrap. Thank god for that. And also we have some armor trim too, which could be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'm going to continue exploring this. I'm going to continue, uh, you know, probably mining a bunch more stuff. And hopefully getting enough netherite to at least upgrade a couple of my tools. So uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm going to get all of that done and I'll meet you guys back, uh, I don't know where, somewhere. All right, I am back from the nether. Oh my god, this place is so much more beautiful. Oh, dude, I never want to go back there, honestly. I'm happy with the build that we ended up doing, but I think that's going to be the last one of the series, to be honest. So, yeah, I ended up doing a bunch of mining. I spent over an hour of mining, which, yeah, it's got to be my most least favorite thing to do in the game down there. God damn it, man. And so, I ended up with three in total netherite ingots. I know it's not a crazy amount. And so, the first thing we need to do is actually duplicate our little smithing template here, and we need to do that by doing something like this. Uh, maybe we're going to swap those around. There we go. And so, we're just going to keep duplicating this until we have four. So we're going to have one spare and then three for our actual tools. So I'm going to keep this uh, locked away nice and safe along with that little trim there. So let's head outside to our little blacksmithing table. We're going to go ahead and chuck our netherite ingot in, our smithing template, and then our tools. So what do we want to do? I think definitely this pickaxe. I use this a lot. So bang, there we go. I don't know if doing the sword is really going to make that much of a difference. So we get one extra attack damage. I think, honestly, I think my axe and my shovel are going to be the best. Yeah, I want the building tools out of the way and done. There we go. Hell yeah. We've now got three fully upgraded tools. That is awesome. They're literally maxed out on enchantments and everything. Actually, they could have one more efficiency level. Don't worry about that. All right, and so that is just about going to conclude this episode. Like always, if you want to download this entire build, along with any of the others I've created in the series so far, be sure to check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.